so let's get straight to it I'm gonna make fish fillet today for you guys I will use no salt remember if salt is always in your dish you're cooking just add a little but not too much and I'm gonna show you that without salt you can have a really really tasty fish fillet my fish fillet you can eat with steamed vegetables you can eat with lettuce which I don't like but I'll take the steamed veggies you can have a side of sweet potatoes portion control is very important so check that out and um, enjoy this recipe it's easy what you're going to need for this recipe is pollock fish, cold fish, they call it here in Holland. You can buy it by Lidl or Plus, I think actually anywhere. I buy mine at Plus because it's the cheapest. Yes, if you want to lose weight, protein is important and fish is one of them. So you have to stock up on your fish and that's why I buy like 10 packs of these every month. Pollock fish, Alaska cold fish, or Euro 55 I think by the plus. I don't know what they sell on St. Martin or other countries, but you can use any kind of fish fillet. I have four pieces. They hold a lot of water, so you just want to squeeze them out after they defrost. Another ingredient that's important is olive oil. So instead of using sunflower oil or whatever oil you olive oil is one of the best ways to go and I'm not using salt instead I'm using lime juice you can also just use the freshly bought limes the ones you cut and squeeze if you're a pepper fan you like spicy food you can add chili pepper or cayenne pepper or even the real deal you know Madame Jeanette or uh, what's it called Ajuma Bon something Yes, I don't know the name in English, but it's Ajuma. Thyme is one of the important ingredients in my fish fillet dish. You can also buy the, the fresh thyme. Garlic gives so much flavor. If you have onion powder, you can also use onion powder with it. Make sure there's garlic because garlic is the bomb. Uh, paprika powder gives it a nice color and some coriander powder. So what I usually do is I season the top first. So you're gonna use some of your garlic powder and onion powder, whatever you prefer. I'm not gonna add chili powder or cayenne pepper because I usually eat my fish with chutney or sambal. You're gonna take some of your thyme and sprinkle that. Your coriander and your paprika powder and as last your lime juice and then you're gonna rub it be gentle because it breaks really quick like this show me but just rub it in and now you're gonna move over to your pan so on medium heat you're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil and you're gonna do the same thing you did on the fish so you add a little of your thyme you can also add rosemary or oregano but I find thyme is a really really good ingredient for your fish throw some coriander in there and your garlic and your paprika powder and then you add your fish. Cook this on medium heat for about a minute. And then you turn it around gently because, like I said, it's so damn fragile. And on this side, you also add some of your lime juice on low fire. You fry for two minutes. And then you also gently turn it over to the other side again. And 
and then you turn it off. There you have it. Delicious. And I'm gonna eat this with some boiled cauliflower. It's great for lunch, dinner, even breakfast. Enjoy guys! Hey guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching my videos. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch another one of my videos. Ciao!